one off. Oh shit, this one's for me!
Come on. Let's go. I'm taking you to my place. Right. Cerberus is here. I managed to find him. Good. Good. Now I must question him. Get information. How to reach the heart of the tree. There has to be a way. Come on, Rakash. Make him talk. Come on. What? Was it me who said that? What am I talking about? I don't give a shit about the heart of the tree. Possibly a fart, but not a shit. All I want is to find sticks and see his head on a platter. That's gonna be my birthday present to myself. My rite of passage. I may have been born yesterday, but I'm all grown up today. From now on, I declare I will obey no one, and I'm gonna write it in Styx's blood. Well... Happy birthday, Rakash. Huh? Happy birthday, Styx. Here, it's your present. I forged it myself. It is magnificent. Thank you. Thirty winters. Yes, it's thirty winters since your mother brought you into the world. You're an adult. From today, you no longer have to obey me. You can decide your own life. Are you sure you want to leave? I am sure, Father. I must make this journey. Finish my initiation. Become a true shaman. But why so far? I want to see the world tree with my own eyes. Study the amber that flows from it. I felt such a powerful force. Come back one day, son. I promise. Ah, what? I remember. My father gave me a dagger the day. Wait. That's impossible. This memory is not mine. I don't have a past. No past. Sticks. He's fucking up my thoughts. It's not my family. It's not my father. It's not my memory. Sticks, you. Bastard! Answer me! Did you do this to me? Ah, how ungrateful. I allow you to share my most precious memories and you insult me. Listen, Rakash. You're gonna bring me Quirberus. Your little rebellion has already cost me precious time. You've manipulated me for the last time. I'm not manipulating you. I'm asking you. Bring me Quirberus. And why would I do that? Because I have everything you desire. A past. A name. I don't want your memories. I want you to get out of my head. That can happen. If you help me to reach the heart of the tree, then you get your freedom back. Bring me Quirberus. Bring him to my laboratory. Your laboratory? How long have you been holed up in this tower? And where is your laboratory? You know all that. Now hurry, I'm waiting for you. What? But, no, I... The laboratory. But yes, I remember where it is. I think. I know how to get there. Damn. I've never been there. How can I remember that?
doomed. Better avoid any contact with them. So you didn't bring Quirberus. And yet, it was in both our interest. You're not making my job any easier. That's for sure. I'm done with being a tool. I only obey myself. Oh yeah? And you decided what? What's your secret goal? How can you know what you want if you don't know who you are? If you are, in fact, nobody. You've never lived anything. You didn't ask to be here. Me, I crossed two centuries of nightmares to reach Akanash. I lost everything. Forever. Now, since you're so worn out, why don't you let go? You're just a bunch of old memories that are overflowing, screaming to get out of your skull. You're good for nothing. Listen, you and me, we have one life between two. You've got the past. Leave the future to me. It's a fair deal. Why are you so desperate to kill me, Rakash? Me, who brought you into existence. I want to kill you because, well, at least I know it was my idea. Oh, really? Well, I can't argue with that. And yet, I could almost have whispered it to you. I'm so tired after all these years. All these voices gnawing at my mind. I came here to finish it. So, asking you to kill me is almost a good idea. Assuming, of course, that you're able to, which isn't the case. Oh, you think so? Wait and see. I tried to kill myself. 
tried several times. Now it's finished. And all this damn hammer running. It won't let me die. I don't need an effective tool. before my head explodes. This... This reflection... It's me? What have I become? A... A rakash. A monster. What have I done? I feel so weak. How long ago did I leave my family? I am no longer worthy of being an orc. May my ancestors forgive me. What? What? <sighs> Where am I? Emmet, you're alive. I was afraid that I would arrive too late. You saved my life, Elf? Why? I may have a few screws loose, but I think if any of you assholes were friends of mine, I'd remember it. We have a common enemy. I am an ambassador, the elf representative to the humans. I know that Styx aims to steal the heart of the tree. And the tree cannot live without its heart, its death will lead to the destruction of Akinash. Styx is constantly seeking to poison relations between elves and humans in order to have a free hand. All it needs is a spark, and then it will be war. And you were counting on me to stop him? I know that Styx and I look alike. But I'm the one who just got my ass kicked like a rookie, you know? He's stronger than me. I can't beat him. You will stop him. These are things that we elves can foresee in the Amber. But for that, you must rid yourself of his mark. The one that allows him to maintain his hold over you. And I know a way. What? Where do I sign? Does it hurt? Tell me, damn it! Without this link between us, I could face him on equal terms. At the moment, you are but an imperfect duplicate. But if you were to place yourself inside one of our empty cocoons, you could become complete and be reborn as a perfect creature of the Amber. Anything to break my link to sticks. Make it quick. Time is short. Take me to an empty cocoon. I will do it. But there are more pressing matters. The destruction by Aeron of the bridge that leads to the heart puts us in a situation close to war. But it has allowed us to delay Styx's plans. Now that we have Quirberus 
We must get him out of here. Without him, Styx will never find out how to reach the heart. All that remains is for you to escape his hold, and then to track him down and kill him. And I shall help you. But the most urgent task is to restore diplomatic relations between humans and elves. I have requested an audience with the governor. I shall expose the scheming of his son, Aaron. As a man of reason, Barryman will understand, and tensions can be eased. I just need you to collect some documents from the library. I shall tell you more on the way. Very well. I'll help you to get these documents, and then we put Quirberus in the first airship leaving the atrium, and I get rid of this cursed mark. And finally, a Styx hunt. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you. But before I leave, I must tell you that the other elves do not look kindly on our cooperation. Do not expect to be treated as a friend by my kin. The feeling's mutual. Listen to me. I shall tell you what to look for. Ah, damn it, I'll never get used to it. How do you do it? Not go batshit with people talking inside your head. How do humans not go crazy by being alone inside their heads? Loneliness is good for no one. Yeah, well, I'd pay a lot just to be left alone. <sighs> Forget it. Tell me what you know. We must prove that Aaron is diverting Amber away and selling it to Akanash soldiers. This sacrilege violates the agreements between my people and Governor Barryman. Where the geek go was here before? And we must prove that Aaron is using prisoners as experimental subjects, but I don't know what fantasy of his to control his kind. All right. You sure that his father won't give him a medal for that? No. Barryman is not like that. He is a politician, a diplomat. He adores a challenge. He wants to control people by his power of conviction when he addresses the crowd. Not because he has drugged them beforehand. Aaron is just looking for a shortcut to power. So, the evidence I'm looking for now, Ivory? You should be able to find the accounts of the distillery and the warehouses signed by Aaron. By cross-checking the data, it will be easy to show that a large amount of amber is lost along the way. In the same way, you can obtain prison registers, which will reveal the unbelievable increase in the number of deaths among prisoners since Aaron has been in charge. Okay, I got it. Bring them to me. I take it upon myself to convince Barryman.
Looks like there's something out there. Monster! 